And imagine further amazing birds coming to make their homes in these great whimsical decorative hats. Barbara King brings us such beautiful ideas for inside and outside our homes. These are the birdhouse with the hanging chain and wall hook. They're a clearance price of $15.82. These decorative hats just make me smile. You're saving close to 10 bucks, six easy payments of $2.64. You're choosing a straw one that you're seeing there. That red one, that's already gone, but we also have a purple one too. But Barbara King creates a line of, well, how would you describe it here? A line of items that mm, are what? Things that we go out, we find, we design, and we just want them for our own home. <laughs> so we make them for you and we just have so much fun. My dad and I used to go fishing yeah. when we were younger. He's been my mentor, a florist his whole life, my grandfather. So we are always on the hunt and our day off we'd go fishing. So we equate it a lot to our finds. It's oh, out fun. there searching and looking and then finding just the perfect piece for your home. And Barbara King around here has um, a, a beautiful place in Valley Forge that is a, did you say fourth generation? Yes. It's a fourth generation yeah, florist, but then started. so much more. And Thank she has you. beautiful items like this here, but we get to bring them to you across the nation. So here's the one that's straw, right? Yeah, this has such texture. Although it looks like straw, this is resin, so it can be outdoors in any type of weather. We did the decorative bow on the side. Look at that. Oh, it nice. looks just like the straw hat that you would see somebody wearing at a country fair. But the depth of this is amazing because the bird can make his home by getting into that opening there. And it's a nice deep opening. So although these are decorative, mm -hmm. they are definitely something birds will absolutely right. use. Because there's the height. Mm -hmm. And there's the clean out hole too. So it's really important that if you really want birds to get in, there's the gasket there. This just lifts off. You can clean out the house. They like it nice and clean and every year they'll come back. We wow. had them hanging on our shed and it was amazing cool. to hear the sounds from, I'm like, to my husband as we're having You're coffee like, in the morning. My hey, there. we had babies. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. We had babies. Yes. Our birds had babies. So, and then look at the purple one. Oh, wow, isn't that, that so pretty? Mm -hmm. With this purple, it has that decorative resin bow that is done in the deeper purple and blacks. It looks like that leopard print. There's the pearl edging to it. This is just such a pretty piece. You're going to see these from a distance and that is so nice, but don't think the birds won't use it. Mm -hmm. because they will find this and they'll use it. They'll stay nice and dry inside it. You can also put these on a wall. And this was oh, inspired okay. by uh, my, another mentor of mine. But we made these so you can put a nail hole into either your shed wall and hang them flat or you can hang them maybe from a tree branch because we have this chain on here. So you could hang it from a tree branch or a plant mm -hmm. hanger and anywhere you wanna put this, the birds will find them, but I always suggest putting them in a place that you're gonna see them. Right, so uh, a couple things for you. Under 16 bucks, Yay. $15.82. I believe this is our most affordable item in the show, but talk about creating like that whimsy for somebody. And I also want you to, Barb just said, put it where you're gonna see it. So outside a window. So maybe it's your mm -hmm. bedroom window somehow, some way. Maybe you're taking care of somebody and they happen to be in bed rest right now. Then they can watch that process go on, which is really kind of cool. The other thing is that maybe you're going to put them outside your kitchen window and then that would right? be great, right? Because oh. I remember we would have our bird feeder outside our kitchen window. So always when I was washing dishes, I could, you know, see what the birds were doing. Oh. But it also is just like a way to say welcome. Like this is a place where your birds are safe, where you're, they'll come back time and time again. Now, Barb, when I hang this, do I do anything? Do I put bird food in there? Like what do I no, do? Will they what? just find it if on their someone own? Someone else asked me that. It, this is a house. So it's not a feeder. You're not going to put right. the food in there. This is just a place that they are going that they'll to probably nest find and nest. And they're going to love that it's easy access to get in and out here because of the opening in the birdhouse. That hat is nice and deep for them to make a nest. But the decorative part, 
Yes, that is for us. The birds, right. I don't know right. that they care, but they love the shelter. They love the safety of this birdhouse. And it's something that's really nice to do in a collection. Yeah. So having two, maybe at two different heights on a wall or mm -hmm. on a, a shared tree branch, it's just oh, that's pretty. Nice. It's something so many people love and enjoy. And the other thing is that it is obviously not your run-of-the-mill birdhouse. Like, this reminds me of Alice in Wonderland's Tea Party. Like, it's I just sweet. think it's so, f there's something fun and magical and storybook about it. So this isn't your usual birdhouse that you see. And that's what we love about Barb King. They, she and her family, they go and discover things that make us smile, super whimsical. That was six easy payments because that was a clearance priced item. So all of our clearance price items right now are six easy payments. And the easy pay means that you actually are still getting it home now, but paying for it over time. Uh, and six easy payments of $2.64. Okay. So we're gonna keep going because Barb King is still hanging with me and she's bringing us the sculpted faux moss animal. And I don't know if you've ever tried to grow moss,